I just did the unthinkable. I quit my job as a firefighter paramedic, sold everything I own, and bought a house on wheels. Join me as we travel the world on Adventures with Annie into the unknown. All right, Wendy, what's going on? Okay, so this is our, even before we bought this kitchen, this RV, Annie wanted a faucet with a tall faucet. And I was like, that's easy. We can replace that. And that just happened that the RV we got didn't have one. So I had it in my Amazon cart for a while to get a new RV faucet. And then last week, our faucet started leaking. So that was the last straw. I have a black light shining in my face. Hmm. Hey. A scorpion hunting. Hey. This is our Sid, stop, please. Uh, stage lighting, apparently. So, um, so anyhow, this is our old faucet. It was leaking from under here. I put some waterproofing tape, which is cool stuff from Home Depot, just to temporarily fix it till the new faucet came in. And but the ear, you'll see the shape of our sink with minus the dirty dishes. And it wasn't too hard just to get under there, loosen. First, you have to unscrew the connection to the water pipe and then you can unscrew the nut that holds the faucet on. That was pretty easy. But what we found is that, shh, pretend this hole wasn't there. We found that our sink only had these two holes. And even though there are some faucets that say that it's for a two hole faucet, it's usually one bigger hole and that's in the middle and one smaller hole next to it for the faucet and the sprayer. But I guess it's just this type of the RV sink. It only had these two holes in it. And I thought, well, that's fine. Maybe we can just put the faucet on this corner and cover up the other hole. But then we found that these holes are way too small for the modern type faucets. So Annie went to the store, Home Depot, and found this awesome drill bit called the holdozer. Holdozer? Yeah. That like starts it in the middle and then this whole outside thing is the serrated saw. So that cuts the hole. So we did that. She was having trouble. It was like it would get here and it wouldn't move at all. So what I did was I just, I kept it running and then I would just graze it in and out a little bit. And it, you can see all these little shreds that came out and it just shredded the plastic. So I suppose you have to make sure you have a plastic sink, but if it's shaped like this, I'm sure it is. So once we get that hole installed, then most faucets come with this extra plate and we'll just put that over. It covers those two holes and seals them, and then the main faucet will come right there. Awesome. All right. Uh, yep, so that's what we're on next. The other thing that was a little scary to me, I have, I have there now they can use this new colored tubing that's red and blue, and I thought it was just for RVs, but it's actually like the standard now for housing too. And I was kind of scared of it, but it's actually easier than PVC or copper piping or anything because you can a lot of it you can just twist or use a little screw clamp so it's not that scary and the faucet that we got off of Amazon should we show that one this is the faucet we got off Amazon it was like 60 or 70 bucks and it had five star rating like not four and a half it was five so I thought I'd give it a shot so far so great it looks good it feels good I was a little scared when I saw these metal fittings because Normally these go like straight into the wall of your house and I knew we had to connect to the red and blue plastic, I think it's PRX or something, tubing. But this one came with little adapters. So I checked and this is the half inch size which connects to the plastic tubing. And then this is I think the quarter inch size or three that connects to there. So we got that and then we got some Teflon tape which I really love. Annie didn't know about it. It's very smooth. You could just feel it all day long, but most plumbers probably don't spend their time doing that. And then you wrap that on the threads. I think we only have to do it on the metal to metal connections because the, the other plastic pipes, it has a plastic nut. So I think that that'll seal fine. So uh, that's where we were. And I was about to take this out and do this. And Annie was like, shit, we forgot to document it. So now we <laughs> caught you up. All right, we'll be back. My hair is all perfect now, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. You, I did not undo this twist tie yet because they recommend to keep it together. So we just feed these things down this hole. <laughs> which almost didn't fit, but did. I was worried for a second. And this, which hopefully should fit. This black one is for the sprayer. And oh, we forgot a, a detail. <laughs> 
We'll leave it on film so Do you know what the problem people is? People know we're not perfect. Do you know what the problem is? I don't need to put that on. Just in case people thought we were perfect, now you know. Like my hair didn't do it to you. Oh, from it. There we go. There we go. go. Woohoo! Look at that. Whoa. And then this, don't worry about this. You have to hang a, a weight, a weight underneath. on there. But uh, let's see. So we got that. Now we need the washers. I mean, you can probably just follow the instructions on yours. Ours has a rubber gasket, a metal washer, and then this giant nut. And so now all those pipes I just did down there, I have to shove through here on the bottom side. Which will not be very exciting to view, I don't think. Mm, probably not. There's nothing to see up there. We'll just wait for you up here. Okay, so this is not an under the table transaction. It's what happens under the counter of our RV. So we had to turn off the water at the faucet, which is super easy because there is no water shut off under the kitchen sink in our RV. And then turn the faucet on to drain the water that's left in the lines. And then I still have a towel under here and I had a bowl so that I could dump some of the water into the bowl. Okay, so this is under our counter. We have the towel down here. These are the pipes that are under there that actually connect way back up there. And this is the plastic nuts. Uh-oh. Problem. I think we need a female to female connector for this. Or a male, male to female. Male. You need a male on each end. Yeah, that's what that lady in the video I watched did and I thought we were all set. Shit. Because they're the right size. But there's nothing to screw it onto. Well, Two hip trips to Home Depot Home later. Home Depot, here I come. Oh darn. Good grief. Dun, dun, dun. To be continued. We've already hooked up the old faucet twice. I mean, first we took it out to see what we needed. <laughs> then we put it back in. Now we didn't know that we needed all the stuff because I did not pay close enough attention. I was like, perfect size. Not perfect connector. So, shit just adds to the drama of it all and the mystery. Okay. Okay, so I went to Home Depot. I got, this is the empty package of the male adapters. I wrapped them in Teflon tape. First, I was looking at all the adapters they had and I wasn't in the right section. There's a, um, well, this was at Lowe's. There's a section just for sink and toilet fittings. And then I found these, and these are like the only size that they had there. So if you're in the section that has a bunch of sizes, it's not the right section. And so I wrapped those in Teflon tape. I'm going to put these on here. Um, they are pretty long. I read that from somebody else. So I think I'm just going to like loop it up back under there and it'll take up and that way it'll eat up some of the space and I don't have to like try and cut it and fit it off or something. So that's what we're up to next. $4 piece, it was easy. Okay. For our purposes, because the handle's gonna be on the side and we want it so when you pull the handle forward on the faucet, it's cold in case for when the kids do it. Oh, did I not? I bet I put the... No. Do, 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 Look, this one has this metal thing on it. Yeah. So that one had some adapter on it. Shit. Oh, no, you know what? This one is... Huh? No. I am so fucking confused right now. I almost think they gave me two different... Like, it came in a two-pack of adapters, and it looks like they're two different size adapters. Stand by. Okay, so, I got my second fitting. The second time I went to Home Depot, they were much nicer 
and it was a little bit cheaper, three something instead of four something. Uh, so I just put those on, I got everything connected, and then I forgot I needed to put the wash, the nut on and the washer that hold, that you screw on to hold the actual faucet down. So then I had to undo these guys and redo it. Like if I just were following step by step for the instructions, I wouldn't have forgotten. But I kind of know what I'm doing enough to forget what I'm doing sometimes. So, uh, let's see, I don't know how much you can see in there. Yeah. So I'm just connecting them and uh, should be pretty straightforward from there. Okay, maybe you never knew, but you know how the handle pulls out and then it goes back in? Well, it doesn't go back in by itself. And the, what does that is not a spring as I might have thought, but a, um, a weight. So we have this weight I'm like, this is adding to our RV weight here. Is it really worth it? I'm not sure, probably. So uh, I go under the counter and clip this on to this black cord at the other end, and that's the counterbalance. So when we pull it out, it should suck it back up in there. So that's what I'm doing next. Okay, so I got it set up and it's not the smoothest thing in the world, but it's because of where the drain pipe is underneath that it keeps, um, hitting the pipe, the drain pipe. So it's not the smoothest, but it works. And you know, I think it's kind of normal. You have to tuck the last little bit in sometimes. For $70, it seems like a deal. All right, now I shall turn the water on and find out how good of a job I did or did not do on those joints. Okay, so I was just tightening down that nut underneath on the bottom and I'm just getting this we actually decided to want it off to the side like that um we kind of liked it towards the front but then it takes up some of the little bit of as you see from the side it overhangs the sink by that much and it's already a small enough sink so it can go in any direction so we're turning it this way uh, so i'm just arranging that while i getting it in the right position so that i can tighten it down and left all right, it works. I am concerned. As you can see, we have the world's smallest sink and biggest faucet. So it's quite easy to like have the faucet be turned on that way and turn on over there or over there. So we'll see how we do with that. But it works. I haven't taken the sticker off yet. It works for the sprayer. Oops, you can't see sorry. It works for the sprayer. And pull it out, rinse it around. Oh 